Hey there, my friend. How you doing? It's Chris and Gia here from chrisandgia.com. Back again with you with another very exciting episode today, all right? So, hey, what are we talking about today? Today, we're talking about some attraction marketing on Facebook strategies and tips, all right? I'm going to reveal to you the one thing your upline won't tell you, all right? <laughs> How about marketing on Facebook, all right? So, hey, before we get right into it, if you haven't already, definitely give the video a like, all right? Definitely subscribe to the channel so that you get notified whenever I release more attraction marketing, Facebook strategies that can help you out in your business, all right? So let's get down right down into it. I'm going to share with you a few things, tips on attraction marketing on Facebook strategies that, well, I wish I knew before I got started on marketing that I think it might be a little bit helpful, all right? So here we go. Attraction marketing is the art of putting out content, putting out value in such a way that it attracts your prospects and leads and customers to come to you asking questions, right? It's kind of like putting bait out there, bait that you know that they want, and then they take the bait, and now you're having starting conversations, right? It puts you in the driver's seat, right, in terms of the transaction, because now they're the ones who initiated the conversation with you. Hey, what are you doing? I want to know more information, versus you, the one initiating the conversation. It's the difference between marketing and prospecting, right? Passive marketing, active prospecting, right? Pa active prospecting is you reaching out to those people and saying, hey, would you be open to a part-time side project? And then passive marketing is you putting out pieces of information that would help someone in marketing or help them in their network marketing business or help them in health and wellness, or whatever the case may be, they see that and like it and want to know more about you and then reach out to you. All right. So at the end of the day, you're still having conversations. You're still helping people um, solve their problems, but it's it's in two different ways. And really, the best way is a little bit of a combination of both, of active prospecting and marketing, especially in the beginning. Attractive marketing is a great. It's, it's, just, it's so it's so awesome because it really is not taught. Really, right? It was not taught in your companies, and that wasn't taught to me. And so learning it was something that was mind-blowing that would have been extremely helpful in the beginning. So that's why I really think it's awesome learning both the marketing and the prospecting side of the business. So that's attraction marketing, right? It's it's bringing your customers, bringing your leads to you, them asking questions you know, questions about what you're doing versus you reaching out to them. And the reason why I think this is interesting because – Think about this. Just the other day, right, <laughs> me and my wife we were going through, we were about to walk into a grocery store, right? And we were walking through, we got our basket, put our little ones in, and we are about to go in, right? We got our shopping list. We got everything we ready because we, when we do short grocery shopping, we get in and we get out. We don't play in the game, right? So we're about to walk in, and there's a dude there. A dude is there, like, right on the entrance, and he's like, Hey, how you doing? I got this thing, thing with Jig I don't even know what he's selling, right? I don't know what he's selling. What I do know is he's selling something, number one. Number two, I know that he is in my way, right? He is in my way. Have you ever been in a situation where people are coming up to you in the stores? Like, hey, you want to buy something? You know, I got this thing. Hey, would you be interested in it? And you're like, instantly you're thinking what? Tell me what you're thinking. You're thinking, dude, you're annoying. Get out of my way. Right? I'm not interested in this. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't care. What did I come here to do? I came here to shop. I ain't come here to buy your thingamajig or even to look at it. I don't care right now. Right? Now, maybe you're in a very passive mood and you're just like, oh, whatever. Oh, okay, cool. You know, you could probably check it out real quick. But most of the time, if you go into the grocery store, right, you get your kids. You don't have time to be playing games, right? You're in there for one purpose, and that is to get your stuff and get out. And so when someone gets in your way, what are they doing? It's like annoying, right? They're annoying. They're not welcome. They're approaching you in a time and place that is just not appropriate to you. Now, think about how annoying that is, okay? All right? Now, that is exactly how annoying you are if you are constantly posting your product, posting your business opportunity, posting your company on your page, on Facebook, relentlessly. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to do it to you. <laughs> That's how annoying you are. Let me repeat it. That's how annoying you make others feel when you are constantly posting your stuff relentlessly on your business, on your page, on your Facebook profile, constantly. Because it's unwelcome. What do people come to Facebook or social media to do? To socialize. 
That's what social media is, to check out what other people are doing, to have a good time, to relax. Some people do it as a way to decompress from the long day, right? And then all of a sudden, they see your, buy my stuff now. We're having a sale now. Hey, everybody wants to lose weight. Everybody wants to travel. This, that, and the third. Annoying. Block. Unfriend. I don't want to see this. You're in my way, Right? It's no bueno if you are constantly using this brute force attack to put your product and your service and stuff in front of people. It doesn't work. Trust me, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, right? That's why you're not getting any engagement. That's why people are unfriending you. That's why people are blocking you. It doesn't work. So that's why attraction marketing is a different, it's a different mindset. It's a different shift in the game, right? Because you're not you're not chasing people now and re- relentlessly thinking that you have to post stuff to get people to, to 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 put people in their faces and thinking they're gonna click and buy. No, you're in a position where hey, you're trying to attract them. You're putting out honey, right, to bring the bees in so that they can ask more questions. All right, so now you're in the driver's seat. Instead, instead of that guy being at the grocery store, maybe he puts out some content or he puts something out that makes me think, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe I will leave my email to get more information. Maybe I will call to get more information, right? Maybe I will download this free free guide on his selling thing that can help me, right? You know, it's, it's creating information, creating little pieces of bait that will allow people to track people into your business, all right? So hope that makes sense, right? That is what essentially what is attraction marketing all day long, right? Creating content, creating pieces of bait that will drive people into your store. Instead of you running out there, they're coming into your store. Now you're in a position that is a powered position, position of authority because they came to you, all right? They came to you knowing you now know that they want something related to what you offer. It's time to deliver, right? So it's no problem about feeling like, oh, I'm bothering them or I feel like I'm, bo- I, I'm getting in their way or annoying them. No, because they came to you. So clearly, they must have been interested. They must be interested in what you have to offer. Woo, all right, well, that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope that was helpful. Hope those tips and understand about traction marketing and how you can use that in on Facebook and really in all of your marketing helped you, all right? And it's helpful in your business, all right? So if you did, hey, definitely give the video a like. Definitely subscribe to the channel. And oh, by the way, if you want to learn more about attraction marketing and how you can utilize it in your business to truly start getting leads and sales in your business, the smooth way and not the rough way, then hey, you might want to check out that link I got there, all right? It's going to take you to a page, right? Put your name and email address in there. I'll reveal to you a 14-minute video on how I learned exactly those strategies, and you can too, all right? So until next time, my friend, be blessed. Stay hungry out there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.